What's up, y'all? This is Daniel with Pride of the Southland Kennels. Today we got a short video. I'm going to try to keep it short. Before we get started, though, this right here is Laurel. She's going to be bred to kneeling right here. Hopefully, this May. That's our plans. Is to, She should be in heat around uh, the 1st or mid-May. And uh, we're going to do that breeding. Laurel is a granddaughter to Mr. Neelan up here. Neelan. Come here, boy. Anyways, he's going to ignore me. But anyways, I wanted to make a video on preserving a bloodline or rare breed. When I say rare breed, I'm talking about maybe like the white English. Um, I don't want people to think that this video is condescending. It's just an, an, an actual question that I have. You know, what does it mean to preserve something? Well, most people would automatically jump to the conclusion and say, well, it means to keep it around. Okay, so my question is, we've been talking about these farm bulldogs and uh, been wanting to use these American bulldogs here as uh, utility dogs or really more along the lines of like a, a livestock guardian uh, type bulldog around the farm. And uh, when you start doing your digging and research, you'll find the white English bulldog. It's not an English bulldog that's white or a bulldog now, as they call it uh, in the AKC, the little short muzzle, fat, sloppy bulldog. We're not talking about that. We're talking about an older southern bulldog breed. So let me get to the point. Let me quit rambling. Basically, what we're trying to do is keep that temperament of the white English Bulldog. I didn't really know what I was looking for when I first got into these dogs, and now I pretty much narrowed it down to we want the temperament of the white English Bulldog so they can be around chickens and goats, just like you see here. So when I start mentioning these dogs, people start reaching out. I got some white English dogs. I've got some white English dogs. I got a buddy of mine that, that you know, he tries to help me out and he Hey, so-and-so over here's got some white English dogs. And 99.9% .9 of the time, just from the people that I've seen and talked to, and I don't mean this in the wrong way, so please don't take it that way. They'll say, I got some white English, and the reason that we like to keep them pure and things like that is because people keep mixing them and breeding them, so, so we're a real tight-knit group, but uh, we got some. Okay, nice, great. Can I get one? Well, no, you can't get one because you got American Bulldogs. Okay, well, what are you doing with them? What, what kind of work are you doing? You got them on the farm? No, we don't got them on the farm. They're just really house dogs. And you look through the pictures to get some of these answers sometimes, you know. And like I said, I don't mean this to be rude, but what are you preserving? What are you keeping pure? If the whole, from what I gather, the whole concept of the white English Bulldog and what makes it special is because it can be on a farm and do all sorts of things. It can catch hogs when needed to catch hogs. It can be a livestock guardian. It can be a family guardian. It can be all this. But then if you're not putting it in those scenarios and situations, what are you keeping pure and, what, and how do you know that you're keeping anything pure? Um, that's just my question. Kneeling over here. She must be about to come in the heat because he's been drooling and trying to mount her a lot more here lately. But like I said, I don't mean for that to be offensive. I'm not trying to stir up trouble. I'm just genuinely curious as to what these people are, you know, fair is fair. So I'll keep back to what I was saying. I'll keep it fair. You know, my neighbors up there on the hill, they got a black or a chocolate lab and I call it a lab. I mean, when somebody breeds it with another dog that's registered as the same thing, it's going to be a Labrador Retriever. But I don't think them dogs will retrieve. So, you know, there's two sides of that coin, and I get that. But, uh, you know, it just, in my search and my my uh, work and research and all that, just that's what I run into all the time. And I just really making this video to see other people's perspectives and point of views own it because i can see both sides of the fence so anyways we're out here doing some spring cleaning it's just been on my mind so i thought i'd post a video and let everybody know we're still planning on moving forward with that breeding it'll be laurel and kneeling like i said 
uh, hopefully in May we can do that breeding and then of course that'll be the that'll make the pups being born around the July mark or something I think uh, but anyhow this is Daniel we're proud of the Southland Kennels thank y'all for watching until next time